Ring the alarm, cause you know it's born. Bro, to be bringing the thunder like he came equipped with a storm. All of that talking, though, it ain't gon' ride, boy, this ain't a cab. No, you ain't ready, I think you should really go back to the lab. Cause you gon' lose whoever you choose, fam, I gon' put up a beat. Whether he passing or running, it's getting dotty or steep. Yeah, he the winner and your team a loser, you better know that before you pick him. Whipping up a bumper liar, might go for a tug on the yiggles. Yeah. What up, dude? It's your boy Foreman. We back, man, with another banger. Before we get into this gameplay, I want to uh, let you guys know some things I got coming up for you all, man. As you can do, see, you do see my record, 82 and 19, 12 game win streak. Yes, my account is blurred out because this is my other account. If you follow me on IG, then you know this account name. But for the most part, I do not have it public because I do not like getting spam with messages like 24-7 when I'm playing like I do on my uh, forum account. And you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Um also let you guys know I do have a sub CFM that I'm gonna probably start within the next week or so. Just so you guys know, the sub CFM priority will go to the people who have the membership and who are in the Discord. So if you do have the membership, you are in the Discord, or if you're not in the Discord, holler at your boy so I can add you. Uh, the link for the membership is down in the description. We will be launching the sub CFM in about maybe a week or so. You know what I'm saying? So y'all make sure y'all get down on that. Um, I think I'll, I think I'm gonna participate. I don't know if I'm gonna be uploading it to the channel because uh, those type of stuff like y'all like seeing rank matches. You know what I'm saying? So I think I'm just gonna and, and you know tips here and there. So I don't think I'm gonna upload it, but it's just gonna be something fun for me to do with my subs. Also, the guy that I will be playing is this guy, Z Swishers. Uh, at the time we played, he was like number six. Right now, he's the rank, eighth rank dude on the two game win streak, as y'all can see. I'm on the 11 game streak. Y'all can see all the statistics because they do allow you to compare stats now. So yeah, man, I hope you all enjoyed this gameplay. We matched up once before. Uh, I won at OT, so when we got matched up again, I'm like, this might be a goodie. Let me go ahead and throw this button on, the record button up, and uh, let me see what y'all what y'all think about my man and what y'all think this smoke about, man. Hope y'all enjoyed this game. What up, though? It's your boy Foreman. We back, and as you can see, I got a little banger for y'all boys. But hold on. Mm, get that random fire on the hole one time. Uh, as you can see above, man, subscribe if you're brand new so you can get some of this good Madden content. We got the six rank dude. I played him before. Uh, we had an overtime game that I ended up pulling out. So, man, as soon as I see him, I'm like, let me hit this record button, bro, so I can bring y'all that five. As you can see, I'm setting up my depth chart real quick because, per the usual, bro, I'm finna test your jaw. I'm finna see how you hold up against this run game. If you get, hey, if you Gucci against the run, then I bring out the dots. But first, we, I got to test that jaw because this is the weakness of a lot of players this year. A lot of people, even though the run game isn't as OP, it's still good. A lot of folks still, still struggling with that run game. So. As you can see, I know I'm about to break it because the way he's setting up his defense, I'm like, all right, I just got to seal that dude on the left and then I'm gone. I right. take a quick cut. And... I catch him. That's so good. Mm. 70, what's that? 75 on the first play, baby. Let's get, ooh, busting the backflip because you got the strong legs. I feel you. So uh, 75 yards off the muscle. That's nothing but good vibes. That's nothing but good vibes. Cause now the pressure is on him. I don't care who you are. If you give up a one play touchdown, that first play of the game, unless it's a blown coverage or a miss or a misadjustment, you hurt. Cause now you're thinking, I just gave up this play, this uh touchdown. I haven't seen his offense. I don't know what he does on third down, fourth down, uh when he needs to die. I don't know anything about it. About dude. So right here, I'm coming out. I'm setting my adjustments up. I already know I got Lamar on the field. So you'll see I switch out Quan Alexander with Greenlaw. The reason is 
because the dude that green that green law spot that I'm putting Quan, I'm a spy that guy. I know Quan has 87 speed. He'll play the role as keeping Lamar in the pocket. As you see, I'm setting up the 335 defense also. Mosley my user. So that's why you see me there. He coming out and gun deuce close. So boom. I'm in 3-4 bear. So I'm setting up my these are my these is base adjustments for 3-4 bear that I always make when I first come out and then I start adjusting from there. Right there, you see bad stick from him. He should have just kept going straight up the field. But you know, Ingram oh crick on a demon cut. But you know, uh Ingram don't really have that 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 takeoff uh speed. So I can see why he may have wanted to cut it up. But boom. So as soon as I see the only one trap, I'm like, okay. Let me see how uh, consistent he going to be with it. So he runs it again. That's time he cuts it back as we get a nice hit on him. So now I'm like, okay, let me key in on this Owen trap. And then let me see what's his next move. Because I already know if I can. Like, he going to play it smart. If I keep giving him an Owen trap for 10 yards a pop, he's a fool not to run it. So boom, we get it right there. We blow it up. I'm like, cool. I got my adjustments to shut down or at the least contain the Owen trap. So let me see what he got next. Uh, a lot of you might not do this, but for y'all, like, wait till your opponent picks his play before you set up on defense. I know a lot of people in labbing with people, they just pick their D and then see what you coming out on offense. Huge mistake right here. As soon as I see the play action, I already know what play coming. So you see me running with Hill and uh, Bosa gets that share and we on his ass. So, like, and another thing is know your playbooks. I run with mad playbooks for a reason, y'all. Because when I see a certain formation, I need to know what's up. I need to know the route combos. So, again, he coming down that gun deuce. I'm setting up for 0-1 trap. But, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to keep my eye out. What's his next progression when 0-1 trap ain't popping? When he go to the plays, uh, to his offense, what are you looking for? So, boom, right there he hit the flats. So, no taking. You like to hit the flats. Smart man. If the flats open, you're going to check down every time. Cool. I got you, famo. So as you can see, I'm setting up right here. Now I'm putting a flat zone on the field that time. I already got my own one trap D set up, so I'm not worried about that. So I took put the flat on the field that time to take away that flat. But now, because I took away that flat route, my immediate responsibility will be the right side of the field. Right here, I make a mistake. You'll see. I And when he comes out an empty gun base, because I played him before, I know he likes the QB run. So I'm going to come out in man defense. And what I'm going to do right there is I put him in a hook zone, and he beats me up top. Not the animation I wanted, but the animation I understood because I pressed with Mosley. Um, I, probably, I shouldn't have threw him in a hook zone, but I wanted to be able to take away those slats. So if I was going to put him in the hook zone, I should have backed off Mosley up a little bit instead of pressing Brown. But I just figured 97 speed, but we're inside the 20. So he probably won't get burned, and he'll be able to get back, and I'll be able to play it. But I wasn't able to. He throws a nice dot. And, you know what I'm saying, we'll take that. You know what I'm saying, lesson learned, move on to the next play. Because the way we, the way we ran that rock, he got no clue with how we about to come at him. He should, though. Because if I just broke that first run for 75, I'm running the second time, famo. You know what I'm saying? I'm Sonic the Head chogging out here in these streets, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Don't be surprised if Sonic Range just was all, all up in your face. Because you know my edits is getting up there. But again, he comes out in the same exact run, D. Cool, I'm not tripping. You get the block on him. And that's speed, baby. Why are you looking at me like that? My wife be hate. But again, bro, that's two carries for 150 of them things. He cannot stop the run. Now, I've always told you guys, if somebody can't stop it, don't stop yourself. But at the same time, my biggest pet peeve is if they do stop it, have a backup. Have some pass plays. Don't be one of them people when somebody lock your run up on third and 15, you still trying to get a stretch or inside zone. Though. Them be the people I hate. And I'm very consistent with that. If you gashing somebody, keep going to it. 
But if they locking it up, fam, let it go. So right here, he does a really good job of quick hiking me. But like I said, oh, one trap be steady. We ain't worried about all that. Pressure is all on fam. Because I've run two plays. I got two touchdowns. He hasn't figured out an answer yet for that one play. When he does, if he if he does find an answer, then you'll see me start to switch things up a little bit. As you can see, um, he's starting to set up uh, his pass D because I'm doing a pretty good job on that on one trap. That's the play I was talking about, guys. That's really good in the red zone because when we play, he kind of I think he got like two touchdowns off that play. So that's what I was setting up for. So right here, he comes up and gun doubles. No problem. Still going to come out my three th in the 3-3-5-D. We're going to set up. You know what I'm saying? Just base adjustments I like. He runs the uh, inside zone, which everybody does. But, you know what I'm saying? Ward does a really good job of wrapping up and not giving up that big play. So now, in my head, I'm like, cool. Find a hole on the inside zone. Blow that up with the user and force him to pass. That's the one thing I haven't seen for fam yet. Pistol week. Cool. He gonna go to pistol week. Uh, we gonna set up for the run, but he quick hikes because I get frozen. For all of you who don't know, that should have been a pick. Let me know in the comments if that was a dot or pick. For those who you don't know, sometimes when you're making a lot of adjustments, like you just get frozen and you get stuck on one guy. You can't click on to your user. You can't make no adjustments. You just gotta wait to the hike of the ball and then you're able to run around again for whatever reason. So again, right here, we setting up. Uh, base, just base, base stuff, base stuff. Whatever reason, he tries me deep and yick Got him up, yick him up. I go for the tug on the yick and no. But that's a huge stop for us. Huge stop. If he probably would have had a receiver, maybe he could have got over the top. Because for a lot of y'all who don't know, for whatever reason, the closer you get to that end zone, the worse that deep blues, uh, the middle thirds play from uh, safeties and linebackers. But, you know what I'm saying, because you were able to jump with safety this year, I was able to get out there. So, as you can see, I motion Coleman out. I got Coleman in the fullback position because, for me, I, I was almost gone. As y'all can see, I got three carries to buck 69. But, for me, running backs, fast running backs, get out there and block a lot quicker. Sometimes you're able to shoot gaps when you got fullbacks on the field because they don't get out there fast enough. I need somebody to hurry up and get out there and seal give me as much room as possible to move as you can see he does not have the edge set in his defense bro he tries to use the uh corner if you don't have the edge set i'm going to run the ball bro that's the number one thing in playing rundy you have to set the edge so if he's gonna give me 30 40 yards of carry i would be a fool not to run this rock so as you can see, he comes out in the defense that that's better suited to stop stretch, but I'm not too concerned about it because I'm just going to run this dive. I get the nice uh block, I mean broken tackle, and I'm able to get four yards. So I'm like, cool, cover two man. I'm not still too concerned about it. I'm gonna test that chin because as you guys, a lot of you guys know, if you look at the formation, it's heavy set on one side. Then once he pinches his line, I'm like, oh, I got him. And you brought your uh, linebacker, I mean that linebacker in, so the edge is not set again. So, I'm to the crib. Like, you don't have to be super skilled, but when it comes, you got to be up here, cuz. You have to know basic fundamentals of Madden. If you do not set the edge with your linebackers or safety, you're going to get ran all over. Because my big guy is going to get out there. We're going to push everybody to the inside, and I'm to the creative. So right here, he get he mad. He tight. I don't even run. <laughs> he sends me a message. The message says, you fucking terrible. But I've only run, what, five plays? I got five plays, and I got three touchdowns. That's not my fault, bro. I can see if I had ran 30 plays and all 30 was runners. I've only run five plays. You failed to stop that because I already have 200 yards rushing. And it's not that the formation is just OP or anything. It's just your adjustments have been trash. You were gashing me with the 0-1 trap. 
When you were gashing me with the on one trap, you continued to spam it. Cool, it's my job to stop it. I found the adjustment, locked it up, you failed to adjust to mine. So I'm gonna beat up on you with it. Right here, I know he was looking for the one play touchdown. So I go ahead and take that away, force him to check down. Good D. Really good defense on my end. As you can see, I'm waiting to see what he come back up in. I've seen the good, good part of what his offense is. Now he comes out and Trey offset. Cool. I'm going to shut up my adjustments based off what I know of Trey, off, uh, Trey offset. It's going to be base adjustments, how I come every single rep. And then I'm going to see what your adjustments is right there because he has bad route combos on the field. I'm able to play both the in routes, then shoot up with the playmaker. He needed to have one of those in routes in front of the other. So maybe I will have to tuck, come here, then jump back here. And you get, and I have to make a decision. But if they both running with each other, I could just stay right in the middle and play both of them, no problem. So now I get into a third and 12. Now he going bunch. Bunch, I, I, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, he desperate now. Like nothing is working for him. My zone drops is set up well. I, be, uh, I play both those routes really well. I force him to run, and I wrap him up. He had a complete bag now. <sighs> now he desperate. It's fourth and eight. He got to bring out his best play. When people are down and you get them to a fourth down, this is when you're going to get their best play. The play that they always go to when they need money. And he really hasn't forced me to do no crazy adjustments. If you notice, my adjustments has been the same since the first period. Since the first quarter, his first pass play. I'm literally bagging him with my user and base adjustments. Boom, I take that away. I, I have him thinking that I'm going to the curl route. And then I jump back up and I snag that angle route out the backfield. Again, bad route combos because your curl route is next to where your angle route is. So I'm able to bait like I'm going to that curl. But still keep going upwards and take away that angle route. Safeties can jump this year. Let me hold that, famo. So again, run D on terrible. Once again, look at that huge hole. Ugh, hold this dive work. I should have been gone right there. Seven carries, 240. Three TDs. Would you stop running the ball? Be honest. Would you stop running the ball? Now, this is look at this, guys. What did I been telling y'all? Set the edge. He doesn't set the edge. We gone to the crib. His guys over the suit. Lead a cutback angle when we gone. And right there, he said, I'm about to send you hate mail. Boy sent me hate mail for about five minutes. He go ahead and quit out that game, bro. <laughs> Quick, click, cheat clappage. Hope you all enjoyed that gameplay, man. And I'll get it y'all tomorrow. Peace. Back then, they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. Rah, rah. Unique voice. Love a bitch when she trying to bone me. <laughs> Stick to the script. Call me a nigga, but look at my hips. First lady, I'm driving that rage. Bitch, a nigga, he gon' show me respect. We been through it all. Fought through the storm. Years later, a legend was born. Let's get straight to the facts.